What's going on all you people? Welcome back to the channel guys and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to repair your broken rod tips with this broken rod tip repair kit from Walmart. So let's get it guys. So today we're going to be showing you how to replace a rod tip. As you can see right here this rod tip no longer has the, uh, the gasket going around the ring so the line is pretty much rubbing straight on straight metal which is causing abrasions to the line which can also lead to you losing really big fish so what you want to do is whenever you see this either replace that little lining that goes in there or completely replace the whole rod tip but in this case what we're going to be doing is replacing the whole rod tip so the first thing you want to do is slowly cut away at this epoxy that is right here Alright, there we go. That's what it should look like after you have the rod tip removed. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is to get you a rod tip repair kit. They sell these at Walmart. They're like $4. You get three rod tips, plus you get the hot wax to melt on it. Now this is how this is going to be done. Okay, so So what you want to do is you want to take your rod tip and you want to make sure it will slide right on there, which it does. Perfect. It's going to look just like that. Now what you want to do is, also the other thing that came in the kit, is the stick of hot glue. See, rod tip heated glue. So the first thing you want to do is take it out of the package. Just a little bit. Take a little bit off. And with your rod tip right here, what you want to do is you're going to take a little flame and start heating it up. Just a little bit. When you got that melted a little bit right there, start putting it all around the tip. It's okay to get a little messy, you just want it everywhere. Okay, now I got that. I'll take your rod tip, put a little bit right in there. And then you want to stick that rod tip on. And make sure it lines up with your other tips. Now that you have it on there, you have it all situated, you want to remove that excess. It's right there. And then you want to heat up the stick again. Just a little bit. And you want to go around it again. If you want to, you can flatten it on there. Let it move around. That's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world, but she'll hold. Just like that. Move the excess. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to let this dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. And after you're done, you remove the excess. This is what you should be left with. A nice clean rod tip that will not come off. 